Today, we've got a special knife banner looking at Kurt's knife collection. Now, Kurt collects knives kind of like a crow collects shiny things. Would you, would you dispute that fact? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> How's it going guys? And today we've got a special knife banner looking at Kurt's knife collection. Now, Kurt, your collection is interesting. So the way that Kurt collects knives is a little bit different I think than some people. So we've got some sections. So we've got kind of your outdoor rock and roll fixed blade ax collection, right? True. You're a bit True. of a huntsman, a bit of an outdoorsman. See. Uh, then we've got kind of your awesome Blade HQ additions, right? Yeah. Yep. And then uh, Kurt's got this interesting little thing about his collection where he collects doubles of knives for some unknown, sometimes known reason. So we're gonna dive into that towards the end. So I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to, let's do it. Why? Why so gross? You will like it. This is my superhero costume. My arms, they're moving. They're moving and they're grooving. Hey, Jude. <laughs> this is what it's like being born. So first knife on the table. <clears throat> Tell us all about this thing. This knife I got when I was a child. Whoa. What? What is that? Is that like glue or something Dude, on there? Dude, you've been using it. Dude, it's probably tree sap. <laughs> so I grew up in a place where there was just apple orchards everywhere. My house was literally surrounded by apple orchards. And me and my friends would go out there and like play with sticks and throw stuff. Because that's what be, kids yeah, should do. We, yeah, were, yeah. we were boys. And I came across this in the middle of the apple orchard just sitting there and I was like yes <laughs> and uh, yeah this this thing hung out with me for quite a while and I threw it into probably a bajillion trees so that is tree sap almost for sure though. I, it's probably tree sap <laughs> realistically that's awesome. yeah yeah it's a good one I've had it for a long time and I played what's that game called where you throw the knife at your feet mumbly peg <laughs> Mumbly peg. Don't I've, play that at home, kids. I've played, <laughs> I've played dozens of rounds of mumbly peg with that thing. This is really cool. You know, the thing, I, the thing that I love about this is whenever I see people's first knives, it's almost always something like this. So this is your first fixed blade, right? First fix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, uh, either it's like a, a traditional that your grandpa gave you, right? Or just like something awesome that's like, <laughs> oh yeah, like a marine in a movie definitely had yeah. this knife at some point, right? <laughs> I it's, think Rambo probably dropped it. Yeah, it it's in there. perfect. Yeah, Rambo dropped it on like while he's running away, and you. But really, you it. really, it was probably like some punk kid walking through the orchard thought he was cool, got that at a yeah. pawn shop. Yeah, and I just happened to find it. I love it. That's awesome. All right, uh, some more more leather, more fixed blade. Yeah. So uh, this one, I I made the leather sheath on this one. But Whoa, whoa, whoa. This. Don't, don't just brush over that. Let's okay. enjoy the craftsmanship here. All right. This is pretty sweet, dude. It's so I, I like to tinker in leather. I'm yeah. not professional by any means, but yeah. if I see a cool idea, I like to try to do my best to copy it or make a replica. You know? Yeah. So yeah, that, it was a fun project. So this is pretty sweet. Give Kurt a thumbs up for some you know pretty handy leather work. I mean, this is you know we just did that video with Parker from Stock right. and Barrel. Right. Uh, make he's, sure to check out Stock and Barrel. Super super guy does great work. But like this is pretty good, dude. I'm like, an amateur. This is rad. Anyways, so sweet leather sheath and then yeah, so, awesome beat up knife. So <laughs> this is the Buck Compadre, mm -hmm. and I when I first hired on, I've had my eye on this knife. Mostly because it's just so heinous. Oh my eyes! Yeah. Like the color whoa. the color is just like Whoa, that's red. Look at me, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I wanted a knife that I could just beat camping and just kind of play around with. And so I bought this one and if you can see it has a little bit of wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. You used it once or twice. A little bit of roughage back here. <laughs> but I I've literally batoned so much firewood and just cut anything I possibly could. Actually, 
I took it out for a weekend and I chipped the blade so bad that I had Steven sharpen it and it took him a while. He had to reprofile it. So to get it right. Yeah. But nice. anyway, this thing, it's a workhorse. It's good. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. And a great little sheet, man. Honestly, like that's thanks. That's, that's an awesome little handmade. I mean, you don't have a sewing machine, right? No, it's all hand stitched. You know, I dabble in Leathersmith as well. And this is, this is cool. This is cool. really cool. Thanks. All right. All right. <clears throat> Big boy. This one. This to me screams Kurt. This to me looks like a Kurt knife. This one is kind of similar to, actually I kind of have a lot of knives that I buy just to play with, have fun. Yeah. So I bought this, it's an Ontario Rat 7. Um, I've always been interested in these. I have a Rat 3 that is elsewhere in my collection. Um, yeah, we should note, guys, this is just the smattering of the collection and give you guys a good taste of Kurt's collection. He's got a bunch more knives, um, but we kind of picked, we cherry picked them. We picked the best ones. So that's what you're getting on the table here. There's like a whole bucket of knives on the other side of the camera. <laughs> There's a couple. Uh, yeah, so I bought this one. I wanted to test this out and compare it to how well it would do against a lot of the stories and reviews we've gotten on the SE knives. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, it's I, kind of a similar build. Yeah, right? similar yeah. build. And so I've put this thing to the test and I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, hopefully. Anyway, these these little yellowy marks on there are actual pieces of wood that has bonded to the coating. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I just, cannot. Just embedded. Also, you just hurt a lot of people's hearts by scraping those two knives together like that. No. That's how Kurt uses his knives, nah, that's guys. A um, that's, it's a tool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this wood is like really on there, but it's a cool knife. I cool. like the micarta, so it's big. <laughs> yeah, it's, when I think Kurt, I think like either really shiny specific knife or very big, huge blade of some type, right? Which we're gonna get to a little bit of that here in a second. <laughs> All right, now I know, I know a little bit of the story on this one. Right. So this one, you got a Montana, Wyoming? So yeah, we were up in uh, West Yellowstone okay. at a friend's cabin. So wait, Montana or Wyoming? Mo well, no, no, no. Because so, Yellowstone, it could be, right? Yeah, so West Yellowstone is just inside the Montana border, right. but it's we were actually more in by Island Park, okay. Idaho. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, uh, and my wife, saw we were on a family vacation my wife saw this like side of the road podunk come by my crafts and junk <laughs> kind of like scene. like the small town flea market it literally is where like grandma's like selling the quilts and stuff and there's like yeah. 12 yeah. booths. there's like 12 <laughs> groups of people and one guy always has like some crazy dead animal uh -huh. yeah. totally yeah, yeah that one okay yep. so i was like ah, oh, okay we'll go and i start walking through and i meet this guy Brandon Williams, and he- That name sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, he's a, uh, so ends up, he's a Forge and Fire champion, Forge and Fire winning champion on the History Channel. Yeah. Anyway, he had this table of knives, and um, that broke Jamie's heart a little bit. Yeah. A little stab. Jamie's gonna fire you for that stab. You're fired. I know, seriously, <laughs> Jamie, calm down. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I got talking with this guy and he's like, yeah, I make these, I, I forge knives all the time. And I'm like, whoa, these are really cool. I ended up talking to him for an hour and a half. My wife's like, let's go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I picked this one up and I actually just recently talked to him. I'm, I think I'm gonna get another one a little smaller, so. Cool. So moral of the story, if you guys are ever traveling with your wife or your girlfriend, they wanna stop at some weird little craft thing, <laughs> just stop because like you might meet a knife champion and get a cool knife out of it seriously this <laughs> i would say this one is probably my favorite fixed blade that i have that's awesome and you have a couple and i have a blades. handful of again them. this is not all of them <laughs> i have a couple all right so this one we had to have on the table just for quick mention so right. as we mentioned uh kurt you do your your hunter right? right you do all you you uh you go out hiking go out backpacking and you go hunting yep and so this is obviously is your havilon for yeah, it's, cleaning it's, an animal. it's for all my detail work that yeah. I do when I'm skinning an animal or, or you know, field dressing. That's my go-to for a quick, super sharp detail work. No, the Havilon, is it your favorite or is this one that happen, you happen to have? It's just the one I have. I know yeah. that there's a lot of different variations. I got that, um, I would say I, I bought that right before a lot of people started coming out with the other ones. Oh, okay. And so I've just had them 
just because they I feel like they maybe started the game. Yeah, when we did the hunting video, when we had the guys from Mountain Ops come right. in, they really liked the Havilon as well. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in, in hunting knives, check out that video that we did. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a good Sweet. knife. All right, so uh, going back to, to big knives <laughs> and Kurt, talk to us about this. Okay, so actually first, let me tell a story. So guys, there's probably not more than a week or two that will go by that I don't see Kurt sitting at his desk in between taking photos <laughs> where he's not just sitting with an ax at his desk, just like, just like looking at it <laughs> and inspecting it like he's ready to go on a Viking raid. Um, and then That's they just mean. sit on his desk, you know? And it's like, are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna go hunting with it? Are you gonna like go into war with it? What are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, but this one you actually own. This yep. is yours. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, when I first hired on, this was on the shelf and man, I've been eyeing it forever. Jamie has been eyeing it forever and a whole year and a half went by, and I, this past Christmas actually, this past Christmas, I was like, hey honey, you, uh, you got me a gift for Christmas, thank you. <laughs> and I, so I bought this, showed up at home, and she wrapped it, and I was super bummed because I couldn't have it for like a month. Right, yeah, yeah. It was under the tree, and I was like, oh, come on. But yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, plus, I'm a Norse guy, and dude, Swedish made. Yeah. This forge has been around for ever, like the six, 1600s. This is a Holtzbrook, right? Holtzbrook, yeah. Yeah, these guys do amazing work, amazing work. Yeah, this one's the 20 inch carpenter axe. Yeah. I like it, it's good, solid, sturdy. It's chopped down some trees. And you were saying this one rides in your truck like all the time. It right? literally never leaves my truck. Except for to come on the knife banner. Show, right. Show the good people of YouTube. Yeah, this one's in my truck all the time, so don't nice. mess. All right, so we got a good chunk of your kind of outdoor fixed blade adventure knives. Um, now let's go into some, some stuff you've done here at Blade HQ. Okay. And the first one I love the most out of all of them. <laughs> um, so we have a tradition here at Blade HQ. It's a, so it's a Boker Kalashnikov a Mini. We have a tradition here at Blade HQ that when you hire on, we learn about you, we start a secret conversation about you, and then we pick out a knife and give you a knife. Um, you know, it's usually nothing super fancy, but you know, like a cool knife, like right. something we think would work for you. So I was totally taken by a surprise. Yeah, usually, usually we have an explanation when you get the knife why we got this for you. Do you remember? I don't remember. I, do you remember, I the, remember the conversation around so, this? So um, when when they presented it to me, they were like, "Oh yeah, I this." We were going around. We have Friday meetings, and at the beginning of the meeting, we say, what are you carrying? And we go around the room and see what everybody's carrying. We do a pocket check every Friday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and if you don't have anything, we shame you. Why are you working at Blade HQ if you don't have a knife in your pocket? Right. Anyways. Exactly. <laughs> so they were like, oh yeah, this cult gave me this knife and this knife and these weird guys gave me this knife. And I'm like, what the freak is going on? And then all of a sudden Ben busts this thing out and he's like, Kurt, we do this thing where we give new employee in the marketing department, this this new knife that kind of fits that persona. And I used to wear, when I first hired on, I guess I'd worn some OD green and black. Not some, all the time, and it matched. It was like his whole outfit was like tailored to I match. I like to match. <laughs> anyway, so they gave me this one, and even though it's small, I, I do like it. It's it's a good workhorse. And this is this is why I think it's hilarious because as you guys know, Kurt really does not like small knives. He really does not like small automatic knives. No. So it uh, this knife brings me joy. Yeah, and so it's <laughs> it's a cool story. I got it from some very special people. Special. Special. And uh, yeah, it's, I'll always keep that one forever. Cool. Right on. Um, now, see, I know a lot of the stories with these ones because you know I've been around for them. Right. So the next one is Eleanor. There's Eleanor. Right? Yeah, this one's Eleanor. So it's a Benchmade proper. Uh, it has flightanium brass scales. And yeah. I just put this little bead and lanyard on there. We love us some flightanium. So the story behind Eleanor is, I think it was like my third week working here. And- <laughs> Might have been like your second week. It was, it was very <laughs> shortly after I first started working here. Anyway, um, we needed an image. And so I was like, okay, cool. So across the street from the old building, there was like this field with olive trees. I'm like, cool, let's go just walk out there and find some. Olive cool. trees that are notoriously known to be very hardwood. Very hard. It's an important fact. <laughs> so I, I saw this, I found this like cut stump, but it had been there forever, so it like aged well. And I was like, oh, that's sweet. So I 
go like this and I stick it in and I'm pushing hard because the wood was so hard and it buckled. And I cut across these two fingers. I think I had like eight stitches. Do you have a scar on the hand? Uh, it's right in between oh, my knuckles. Oh yeah, it's like on the like knuckle on the bend, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's hard to see him. But yeah, so that was a lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I got the photo. Yep, I, he, he finished the while, image. While bleeding, <laughs> I took the photo, finished it, then went and got stitches. If, if you haven't made Jamie too mad about stabbing his table, maybe he'll flash, flash the image up so you guys can see. Right. Even after bleeding out, Kurt got a good one. <laughs> it was a good one. So yeah, this is, this is Eleanor. And then, shortly after, we were carving a bar of soap for a video of something I can't even remember. So so Kurt Kurt had had this thing where he was like, dude, I got to master this knife. Like it cut me bad. I'm going to master it because, you know, it's a slip joint. Like it's you not fall, a big deal. You fall off the horse, you get back you on. You get back right? on. So he's like, we we had to do this thing for doing some soap carving for something we did. I don't even know what, I don't even know if we used it. But yeah, and uh, and Kurt starts carving this time lapse and then he's like in there and somebody's looking in and he's like trying not to interrupt the time lapse and he's like he's like I need some napkins. <laughs> And he cut himself carving the stupid well, bar so soap. The best part is Zach, at the very beginning, he saw what knife I was going to use, and he's like, you're going to cut yourself, bro. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I and told him, I was like, don't cut yourself. Huh? Sure enough. Yeah, so. It wasn't anyway. that bad of a cut, though. That was, wasn't, no, that wasn't that stitches, was, right? That was no stitches. Okay, okay, that was yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is my Eleanor. And if you don't know the Gone in 60 Seconds reference, look it up. Yeah, watch the movie. Get, get some culture in you, you know? <laughs> so that's my proper. And then up next, we have my well-loved Guardian Tactical Recon 35. Oh yeah. I love this thing. Great knife. And this this right here, like I, I know now when people do uh, Guardian Tactical or Microtech or Lightning or whatever, I can tell the difference because I sit next to Kurt and he's fired this thing so many <laughs> times. I can tell, like, I don't even look. I'll be like, oh, that's a Guardian because this thing has been fired a lot. Yeah, it has. And actually I just, recently took it apart and just because it was kind of getting sluggish yeah and i was like what the heck so i took it apart and there was so much pocket lint in there <laughs> from always being in my pocket so anyway yeah, yeah. I cleared it all out and this thing fires like a rifle cool it's awesome right on the next one i got this one from my main man andrew here he uh he had surgery on his knee. So Andrew's a copywriter. Right. Uh, and then he was, uh, me and him went and did the camping video together. Right. So yeah, yeah, So Andrew. Yeah, Super yeah. cool guy. Love him to yeah, death. Yeah, great dude. We love Andrew. And uh, he had surgery on his knee and he couldn't drive because medication. And he needed a ride up to Salt Lake City for some something. I don't even remember. And I was like, dude, I'll totally take you. Like, that's just me. I just do it. You yeah. Know? Uh, Zach would be the same way. He'd be like, yeah, let's just go. For money. For money? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I give him a ride, and the next day, he hands me this, and I'm like, what's this? And he's like, dude, thank you for giving me a ride. It would have cool. cost me so much to have, like, an Uber or right. something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, freak, I should take him on more rides. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, so this one, this one's really cool. I'll keep this one forever. Andrew cool. gave me that one. And that one's, that's a, what? It's a GEC. Was it? Uh, not a Pendleton. Pem, Pemberton? Pemberton. Pemberton. Probably. I think it's a Pemberton. Eh, we'll Jamie get corrected, corrected if we're wrong. wrong. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, what else? Okay, so. Dude, uh, wait, when you pick this up, I just realized you got three three slip joints on the table. Yeah. Now, in Kurt's, in Kurt's full collection, he has like a ton of traditionals that he just kind of like picked up over the years, got from his dad and stuff. So, right. but even here, you got you got the three slip joints. I didn't realize that before we Which started. Which is, it's surprising because- you, he doesn't carry a slip joint no. in the like the real world on the day to day. No. The most I've carried was this, the, the proper. The proper, yeah. Right. Eleanor, I know she's been in your pocket quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, I, I have to master it. Gotta master it. <laughs> All right, so just, a, what, two months ago, Lynn Thompson came yeah, a couple months to Blade ago. HQ. Yeah, yeah. And Ah oh, man, just talking to him and learning stuff from him. It Lynn was Thompson of Cold Steel Knives. Just yeah, in, ca yeah, just in case you don't know who Lynn Thompson is. Like the Lynn Thompson. <laughs> I hope you're watching. Yeah, and we recently just had a video come out that was Lynn Thompson's like greatest hits from Cold Steel. If you guys yep. haven't seen it, check it out. It's It was so much fun to sit down and talk with him. Just a rad video. Make sure to check it out. The guy is one of the most amazing, interesting dudes I've ever met. Dude, he's a legend, right? He like, really he's a legend. is. Yeah, yeah. And so he was here and uh, I think this one's called The Lucky? It is lucky. Yep, the lucky. The lucky. Anyway, it's a dual blade. 
you got your serrated and your plane. Anyway, he gave this, he's, he sent us, uh, each, each one of us in the marketing department, he, he sent us one of these. And it was a personal written note saying, thank you for the experience being here, being such a, a great, uh, just a great place to come hang out. And we were able to do a lot of cool things with Lynn. And I was like blown away. Cause that, I don't think this happens very often, but I just, I felt really cool. Like, man, thanks Lynn. And he's a very genuine, really cool guy. So Lynn Thompson, I got that love. You guys should have seen when, so if, you, if you've never watched Cold Steel video, you should go watch Cold Steel video. Um, so this is the image that Kurt had in his mind when Lynn came. And you were a little intimidated. <laughs> I Let's be serious. honest. Oh, dude, you I was little, like, are you kidding intimidated. me? <laughs> Have you seen some of those videos? You should I'm have like, seen oh, Kurt when he walked in. He just had these like big puppy dog eyes and he's like, nice to meet you, sir. And then he got to <laughs> talking to Lynn and Lynn's just a genuine good dude. Yeah. And, uh, and then afterwards, I think Kurt, you're like, oh, I want Lynn to be my stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Dude, Lynn's a cool guy. Anyway, so he sent these out to us and, and that's another one I'll keep forever. Yeah, super classy of him to do that. It was really nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess this one, Ryan from CRKT was here and he uh, had gifts for everyone. I think he felt bad that I <laughs> didn't get a gift. Ryan, even though you may have not been super prepared, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I love you, bro. Anyway, yeah, this thing is awesome. I sit here and flip this all the time. Well, it the great thing about it is, most of the time. yeah, the great thing about it, it stays at his desk and every once in a while he'd be like, oh, let's test it. And you're like, like, I don't, I feel like you've like tried to do a kickflip off of it or something Dude, like you, you bang it on skateboards. I've whacked it on and... my desk and my skateboard and <laughs> like all sorts of things. And usually that's when Ben goes, oh, yeah, don't do that. Because, because we know Kurt will get cut. Good old seismic, man. <laughs> I, I've only been cut a couple times. Yeah, just a couple. Just a few. Kurt, Kurt for sure at Blade HQ has had more stitches than anybody. He might actually have more stitches than everybody combined. That's a bold statement. Maybe. Now, I, I, I'm going to check on that. That might actually be true. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Maybe. So these are some of the these are some of the knives that Kurt has that are kind of just the the special Blade HQ knives. Now on to kind of your this quirk that you have in your collection. So we were sitting down, we were looking at Kurt's collection and we, we were talking about it. And I realized he had like doubles of a bunch of knives, like two of the same knife. And I asked him like, dude, why do you have two of this knife? Why do you have two of this knife? And uh, you guys got to hear some of these stories. So so we, we pulled the doubles and uh, dude, let's just jump in. So we got two Pucos, I'll, cool. I'll pull one, you pull one. Yeah, and we can slide those. Yeah, slide those over and we'll show these off. Actually, you know what? You talk about this one. Okay. So this is just the standard Benchmade Puko 200, uh, you know, the standard thing. Here, let's so, this yeah, this oh, one, yeah. this is how it comes originally. Yeah. And then I, the very first day I bought my first Puko, I cut the handle off. <laughs> and uh, so, wait, had... so, so why do you have two, first, why do you have two Pukos? Well, when I cut the handle off the first one, I was right. like, dang, what if I totally screw this up? Right. And I was like, I got to have a backup. <laughs> so, so we bought a backup. So I bought a backup <laughs> as a, oh crap, Kurt totally screwed up and everybody knows it. And so I, just yeah. in case. Anyway, just, just in, in case. case. And so I had Spencer here make mm -hmm. these micarta scales for me. Yeah. And then a really close friend of mine put the jimping in and I feel like it fits me and my needs and makes me super happy. So I was a nervous at first because I don't want my hand to slide up. Yeah, when when you right? when you put, I remember because I was there because you know I, I'm about that micarta life right. as well. And when you put that micarta on, I was like, it feels great, but it did it feel a little slippery, right? So that yeah. jimping is perfect. Yeah, I put that. So my one of my best friends put the jimping on, and that way when I push in, I've got a lot more purchase. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been a project ongoing and. I still want to make a different sheath for it. Yeah. But yeah, so that's <laughs> double Pucos. Double Pucos. Double Pucos. All right, on to the next double knife. Oh, <laughs> now there's only one on the table, uh, but it's got it's got a, a history. And uh, this this is a back a little bit back to Kurt's uh, rascal days. <laughs> we'll call him. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't hate me for this. <laughs> anyway, so Benchmade Mini Barrage. This was actually my first Benchmade that I've owned. Um, I bought this 
a couple, two, three years before I started working here. So it's been four or five years now. And uh, I, I went to a certain retailer that rhymes with <laughs> and he went to a certain retailer <laughs> and I, I bought this knife. It was black scales with a satin blade and I wanted that D2 steel. Right. And Love so some good D2. I just happened to see right next to it was a hideous hunter orange scale mm -hmm. black D2 blade. Right. And I was like, man, I just kind of want the best of both worlds. So I bought both <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I might have, I'm not going to admit, <laughs> I may or may not have done a little switcheroo and took the other one back. Now, I don't... A L little bl blade swap. A little blade swap. It's just a, a Kurt exclusive. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but it happened. And as you guys will see, <laughs> he's repented of his ways. So, right. you know, it's a story from the past. I figure right? with how much I've spent, I've kind of made up for there you go. What, what I was doing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this thing, it, it's been with me forever. But then so, you, but you paid, karma came back. Karma came back. Yeah. And I lost this thing for about two years and... Um, I, I had to switch the battery in my car. So I went to AutoZone or whatever, and I bought a new battery and I was just switching it there in the parking lot. Well, I pull out my old battery and this thing is sitting down in the tray, just corroded and acid buildup and so just full of junk and mud and oh. And I was like, what? What? No way. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this knife. <laughs> so I found it had uh steven here clean it up and sharpen it for me and this thing is awesome yeah like, honestly like you know i'm not a big fan of assisted but think fire is like new like, it it's, really does it's shocking all that battery acid and it still works it great, really man. does this thing is awesome That's i hope rad. i never lose it because i well if i lose it i hope i lose it for a short amount of time <laughs> and then i'll find it later yeah and then it'll have two stories just a couple of years no big deal right <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see the 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 next set of doubles, which kind of makes up for the first that first one, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next so, set of doubles here. So this one, I'm a big fan of James Brand. I really love their design and the colors they use and stuff like that. Um, I, this isn't my first though. No. Yeah. I bought an all black, and I lost it. What? Right. So then I was like, man. I, I look at these so often because I'm doing photos or whatever, and I'm like, man, it would be so cool if the neon green had a black blade. Well, it didn't. It had a satin blade, but the white one had a black blade. And so I had to buy two and switch them. So this is my snowflake, and I don't have a name for this one, but it's, it's super cool. <laughs> guys, down in the comments, give this knife a name. Give, give it a real good one. <laughs> and we'll make sure that Kurt calls it whatever you guys want on you. She needs a name. She needs a name. So, give her a good name. <laughs> yeah, man. So the Snowflake, I don't really use or carry. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. It honestly has sat in my desk for about a year. Yeah, and I mean the white scales, right? You don't want to get right. Dirty, right? I, I get that. I actually just lent it out to uh, my brother-in-law. And yeah. I got to give him crap because he totally muffed him up. And I had to, I had to scrub him <laughs> clean. Anyway, you know who you are. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, just a little cool. blade switcheroo yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I could have what I actually wanted. So what we're learning is if you want to sell two knives to Kurt, make one with a handle color that he really likes and then another one with a handle color he doesn't. But make sure that one of them has a satin, one of them has a black blade. You just sold two knives, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Well, All right, what's what's the last set of doubles we have here on the table? All right, guys, some of my favorite knives of all time. I will live and die by these things. What's your favorite kitchen knife, at least? Oh, right? abs. I mean, anything. Minim at minimum, the best kitchen. If knife you, you guys can buy. don't know me by now, anything. <laughs> Hashtag anything. And right in Jamie's face, anything. <laughs> anyway, best made bug outs. I originally bought the blue one when it first came out. When the OD Green came out with the gray blade, I wanted one so bad, but we we were selling out so fast yeah. that they weren't letting employees purchase them yet. So I had to wait like an extra two or three months. That's actually an important note. So I know sometimes you guys get upset, like, why did the employees get one and we didn't? We actually do monitor that. Like oh, yeah. when we know something's gonna be super hot, we're like, sorry, we can't yeah, buy them. Yeah, you know? we, we're put on pause. Yeah, yeah. So it was either buy it at full retail or just wait and 
and love it that way. So I waited. Oh, yeah. man. And I'm surprised you waited, to be honest. Honestly, <laughs> I am surprised I waited too. But these things I have used and abused, and I carry them literally almost every single day. Yeah. Um, you can pocket check Kurt almost any time. He yeah. might have another knife in his pocket, but almost always he's got a bug out. Now, yeah. with this kind of a newer addition, uh, this obviously was a blue one, but now right. it's got those flitanium scales on it, right? Yep, got those flitanium scales that just dropped. Actually, when uh, they came out, they came out at 10 a.m. like last week or something like a couple, uh, weeks, a ago. couple, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right at 10 a.m. is what I I was I made sure I was there at 10 a.m. and bought these. These yeah. are the titanium ones. I think they have brass, copper, and carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, yeah. and then this one. Yeah. So I swapped out the scales and I haven't gone back. Awesome. I like it. I really love it. it. Makes it tough, robust. It's a little heavier, but yeah, it's a little bit of weight. Just a little bit. So guys, I want to know down in the comments, I've never, I don't think I've ever bought a double knife. Like, I don't think I've ever bought two of one knife to like swap later. Let me do it in the comments if you guys have. I want to know. Like, I, I want to know how common this I is. I guarantee there's somebody out there that's like, yep, uh-huh, yeah. yep. <laughs> Let us know. Me. Let us know yep. down in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so this is a great taste of Kurt's collection. Now, there's, there's actually a little bit of Kurt's collection that I left out from the beginning and kind of snuck in here. So there's another part of Kurt's collection, which is, so Kurt collects knives kind of like a crow collects shiny things. <laughs> would you would you dispute that fact? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> so Kurt has actually gotten to the point at here at HQ where he will buy knives and not even tell us yeah. because because we're like, dude, you really, another one, another one? And uh, so he has these, these knives in his collection that like he has yet to even really carry. So I, I just grabbed a couple of them. Um, I have a problem. So he's got he's got the ZT that you've carried like once or twice. Right. He's got an Osborne he's carried a handful of times. Uh, he's got the uh, which one is this? Mini is the crooked. Mini Crooked. The Mini Crooked you've carried like twice maybe. Yeah. Once, twice. I sharpened it. Yeah. And then uh, w which one's this again? This is the. <laughs> that's the Bravo One, the Bark River. Bark River. That's right. This is the Bark River Bravo One that you haven't you haven't even used yet, right? No. So so there's a it whole. It still has factory oil. <laughs> there's a whole collection. <laughs> How long have you had this? Uh, that one's kind of a recent one. That one's just been three, four weeks. Oh, three, four weeks. Okay, so right. this, is, this is pretty new, pretty new. But still. <laughs> so, uh... Honestly, I don't know if I'll use that yeah, one. It's 3V, and that's why I bought it. Yeah, but I know but this one is kind of a special knife for you. It's like kind of yeah, a... I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's a looker. It's, it's a looker. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> there's a whole, a whole other part of Kurt's collection that we won't dive into today of knives that he's carried once or twice, maybe not even carried, uh, because he's like a crow with shiny things. You know, but I can't blame him. If something comes in in like Micarta or something, I'm a sucker. See? And I'm like, dude, I need it. See, I'm and not I, the only one. And I just buy it. And I get made fun of for it. It's I okay. want to know how many of you guys are crows <laughs> like me. Because because I, I, it's a thing. Like if I see it and it's cool, it's like, oh my gosh, take yeah. my money. Well, I got to have it. Shut up and take my yeah. money. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Awesome. So anyway. Sweet. Well, you know, Kurt, thanks, man. This has been great. <laughs> this has been great. I've, you know been, I, I've been hesitating yeah, on doing this. Dude, guys, too. he's been worried about this, guys. Give Kurt some love down in the comments. He's like, oh, like, I don't know how people are going to feel, but let Kurt know. He's got an awesome collection. He does it right. He gets some great knives. He uses them. It's good stuff, dude. It's thanks. good stuff. So, uh, but anyways, thanks guys for following along as always. And, uh, you know, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and we'll see you next round. We haven't done this in a while. That feels like a minute. Oh, cool. Well, we got a lot of B-roll. Yeah. E E, I can rap. E E, I can rap. All right, let's do this thing. All right. How's my beard looking? Delicious.